Hello and welcome to the 2020 Industry Mentoring Network in STEM webinar. My name is Catherine Ennis. I'm the Higher Degree Research Industry Engagement and Placements Manager. I am situated in the HDR Professional Development Team and I'm working in the Office of HDR Training and Partnerships. <coughs> Excuse me. IMNIS is one of the programs I recruit candidates from the HDR programs to in amongst uh, APR intern and MRES 7001 Pacing Research Intern to Unit. So in this particular webinar, we're going to cover generally what IMNIS is, what IMNIS has been like so far at Macquarie University and the application timeline. So what is IMNIS? IMNIS is a national mentoring program that connects PhD students and, in addition, early career researchers post-PhD three years into being matched with a influential high-level industry leader which ha who has a lot of experience in working in STEM. It's not about a finding a job, it's not a job placement program, but it helps students think about what they may do in industry or be any part of the STEM ecosystem, be that in industry or in academia. What does it aim to do? It tries to connect current candidates in working in STEM or studying STEM in academia and increase workforce mobility overall. There's plenty of candidates we know who would like to work in industry post PhD, and this is one way of getting more exposure to that industry. It helps extend your professional networks, which is always good. Connect more broadly than your own circle. Get to know people that are working in the industry that you want to work in. You get to build on your transferable skills and be more informed about opportunities beyond academia. And you'd also work with people or be connected with people who are working in translation, innovation and commercialization alongside basic research. So the programme is a national programme. Macquarie is one of a number of universities in New South Wales that is part of IMNIS. It takes place over 12 months. Mentors and mentees meet once a month and this can be done now online. Second year PhD candidates are well positioned to be part of the programme. Ideally, you will be going into second year or be in second year already to take part in this programme. And generally that's probably the better time before the end or too early in your PhD to be part of this programme. And we would welcome candidates generally in around that time frame. The two streams that we are connected in is the MedTech Pharma or Energy Minerals streams. As you can see under both of these here, the particular disciplines that are most suited to these particular streams. So the Medical Technology Pharmaceutical stream, these are the number of uh, disciplines here. So if you're working in computer science, for instance, or you're studying in computer science, I should say, um, if and you have an interest in the medtech farm stream or industry, then you should consider making an application. We have plenty of candidates in the discipline of data science who have a strong interest in medtech pharma and have been in the program and found it very useful. Likewise, in energy minerals, if you are in any of these disciplines, you are most likely to find uh, that this one is most aligned with your interests. In saying that, all candidates from all faculties and departments are welcome to apply. If you have a background or a very strong interest in these areas or your research is connected in these areas, it will be a beneficial program for you. <coughs> Pictured on the right here, we have Shivani Satchdev and Dr. Brad Walsh from Dynamic. Shivani was um, a PhD candidate in the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences and she was connected with Dr. Brad Welsh from Winomic. And here she is speaking with Brad at our event last year, reading the benefits of research about their mentoring relationship. So this is the spread of candidates that have been involved. We have candidates that have come from all, part, all faculties over the last few years. 
there's an opportunity to meet with other candidates in groups or workshops that we held, hold on campus in addition to the ones that are organised by IMNIS. There's also a closed LinkedIn group with other mentees that you can join and get more familiarity with LinkedIn and build your network that way too. We also have a research collaboration with UVSA who are evaluating the impact of IMNIS on candidates. And this is just a reminder again of the streams and the relevant disciplines. But as I said, candidates from all departments and faculties are welcome to apply if they feel they have a strong interest in these particular two streams. So to give you an idea of where the mentors are coming from, these are the organisations on the left here. So Abby and Stowe, AstraZeneca, Johnson & Johnson, very large organisations and also small to medium enterprises. This is the spread of diversity amongst the mentors and these are the expertise areas they come from and also the reasons why they mentor. Many of them want to connect with current candidates and give back having been PhDs themselves often and to extend their own professional networks and to engage academia and see what's happening in research. So in terms of next steps, if you're interested in applying, the applications are open now. The closing date is currently Sunday, April 5th. You can find the online application form in an email that will be sent to candidates, or you can go to our iLearn page, HDR Professional Development, and in the announcements, you'll see a link pinned to the top with a link that anybody can use. The shortlist would then be reviewed by a faculty HDR associate deans and departments. They would have a look at the list and endorse applications that would be able to progress. All candidates are then notified by mid-April approximately. We would let IMNIS know about these applicants by the end of April and students would be matched by May approximately with a mentor. And from about June, that's when most are finalised. There's usually an event mid-year to connect mentors and mentees and other interested parties and it usually closes off the 2019 programmes and launches the new programme. And there's usually, or has been since last year, a workshop for new mentees um, that helps people prepare for their mentoring journey. Now, there is a fee that's associated with uh, being involved. This has normally been absorbed by the faculties or departments. However, this is always subject to approval. Some of our IMNIS alumni here you'll see candidates and where they've been connected. This is also um, an opportunity to be part of the IMNIS network. IMNIS asks you to uh, submit a profile which you can um, uplift to their website and which tells more about you, your reasons for being involved, and it will be shown in their website. And I will share with you some links of candidates and their uh, profiles from this particular webpage. You're also free to go any, online anytime and I have a look at the IMNIS network there too. We also have featured, or you may have already read, some of the HDR dynamic duos in our newsletter. You'll see here Adam Johnson, PhD candidate from Macquarie Law School, who has a great interest in STEM and was connected with um, Amy Moore from AbbVie. Uh, you also see here uh, Luke Mills, who was connected with a mentor from Johnson & Johnson, and Giovanni and Brad Walsh, who I mentioned earlier on. These links will also be shared in the ILM page. So, it's somewhat, just to give you an idea of the application form, it's a very short application form. It should really take you no more than five to ten minutes to complete. This, apart from your basic details, these are the most crucial uh, details or questions on that form that you may need to consider before you sit down to complete it. So think about additional information that could support your application, why you want to be part of it, and think about two roles. And that can be in academia or industry. It's just to get a sense of the kind of, um, you know, mentor that might be, um, you know, most aligned to your area or interests. And you can use this information if you're successful to um, 
for your matching profile later on in the Innis program. So this is good for you just to maybe explore, you know, think about and help us understand what you might like to get out of your experience in Innis. If you'd like to communicate or contact me any for to get any further information, you're welcome to contact me on these two email addresses. That is the best way to connect with me right now. This is my desk phone, but I'm currently working remotely. So please communicate via these two email addresses. This is a shared inbox between me and Sally Purcell. But please communicate with us and let me know if you have any questions at all. I very much look forward to getting your applications.